Gas Test Analysis This video describes the workflow in testing a gas well starting with a new document. Launching Sapphire Start from a blank document. Click through Step 1 and in Step 2 we will fill in some basic reservoir parameters. The well radius is 3.5 inches, the pay zone is 50 feet, and the porosity is 20%. Click on Next to define the PVT. Select Gas as the reference fluid and click on the PVT icon. In Gas Properties, click on the down arrow and select General Properties. Here, enter a value of 0.65 for the gas density. For the reservoir temperature, enter a value of 200 degrees Fahrenheit and click OK to close the PVT definition window then Next to go to Step 4. Now enter a value of 20% for the water saturation. Please note that this is an important parameter as it affects a total system compressibility and hence parameters such as the distance to the reservoir boundaries. Click three times to get to the start of the document. Click on the Load queue and select an Excel spreadsheet as the data source and choose the file gas rate pressures.xlsx. Go to the tab Gas Rate and click Next. Make sure that the time format is duration and that the two columns are defined as decimal time and gas rate. Check the units for the gas rates. Click Load to load the gas rates. Next, Click on the Load P icon. Again, the data source is an Excel file and we select the same spreadsheet, choosing the tab with the pressures. Click Next and check that the time format is points. The two columns are respectively in decimal hours and in PSI. Click Load and see that there are a couple of duplicate entries in the file. Select Skip New Data and tick the box Apply to All. Double click on the Analysis tab and rename it Start. The well was producing continuously and then shut in to run the gauges, followed by a flow after flow test and buildup. We will start with an analysis of the main buildup. As this is the last buildup of the test, we can do a Shift Extract to create the standard diagnostic plots automatically. The derivative in the diagnostic log log plot shows a homogeneous reservoir without boundaries. Sapphire has positioned the wellbore storage and infinite acting radial flow lines at the correct position, so we can create an automatic analytical model by clicking Shift Analytical, followed by Shift Improve to fine-tune the match. In the history plot, zoom in on the last part of the test with the pressures and see that the match is OK for the final flowing period and buildup but for the previous flow periods, the match is not good. This is due to rate-dependent skin. Make a copy of the analysis and rename it DS by DQ. Click on the analytical icon. The skin has a single value and we need to split that into its two constituent parts, the mechanical and the rate-dependent components. This is done in two steps. First, we determine the individual skin values of the flow periods, followed by a plot of these skins versus their respective rates. A necessary condition for this method is that the model has been generated with the box Impose PI checked. Tick that box and click Generate. Returning to the analytical model, in the Well Model section, tick the time dependent skin box. Now click on the Settings button. In the newly opened window, click on the icon Split Steps. If we zoom in on the end of the plot, we see that for every rate change, there is a red vertical line. Click Compute, and the skin values in the table on the right are now adjusted to match the drawdowns. Next, click on the Skin versus Rate icon and see the skin values versus their respective rates. We must delete the first value 
as that is a dummy value from a flow period without pressures. Activate the filter and draw a lasso around the outlier. Click Reset Lines and OK. Observe that the single skin in the analytical model has been replaced by a mechanical and rate-dependent part. Click Generate and see that the model now matches the pressures of the different flowing periods. Next, we will explain the classic C and N method. Make a copy of the first analysis called Start and rename this C and N. In the option Additional Tools, select Inflow Performance Relation, abbreviated to IPR. Under the IPR type drop down list, select C and N and the test type Flow After Flow. Select the Data tab and click on the Pick Data icon. We can select the different flow rates either graphically or by ticking the boxes on the right hand side. Zoom in on the pressures and select the four flowing periods by clicking in the plot. Click Close and select the Parameters tab. We can copy some of the parameters from the analytical model into the table by clicking on the Parameters from Analysis option. There is a warning at the bottom of the window that we have to enter the average reservoir pressure separately. If this value is known from any other source, it can be entered here. Alternatively, we can use one of the classic calculation methods under the Compute P Average option. The third option is to use it as a variable in the regression. In this particular case, enter a value of 5000 PSI. Also, change the Compute Skin Components to Yes. Click Apply and observe the calculated values for N, C, Mechanical Skin, and the Non-Darcy Skin Component. Always check the value for N, which should normally be between half and one. Here, it is 0 0.77, so that looks OK. Click OK. The window closes and we see that a standard pressure versus rate plot is added to the analysis window. Right click in the plot, select Change Display, and observe the gas potential plot. To see the parameter values, right-click in the plot and select Results in Plot. We can use the skin parameters in analytical modeling. Select Analysis in the top toolbar and go to the dashboard. Select the Specialized Analysis icon and IPR Plot C and N. Then click on the icon to Analytical. The model is now updated with the new skin parameters. Shift Improve and see that the match is better than with the fixed skin, but that the rate dependent value needs some tuning. Go to Improve, select the tab Targets, and check the box History. Go back to the Parameters tab and select the parameters. As we are only interested in the skin, deselect the well bore storage and the permeability and run. We now have a good model match, including the flowing pressures. The LIT method is almost identical to the C and N. Duplicate this analysis and name it LIT. Right-click in the IPR plot and select Plot Parameters. Change the IPR type to LIT. All the data previously selected has been retained. So we can click on Apply and the values for A and B and the two skin components are calculated. Click OK and the plot changes to reflect the new method. Right click in the plot and select Results in Plot to see the relevant parameter values. Again, just as we did for the C and N method, we can copy the values for the skin components to the analytical model via the dashboard.
This concludes this session on gas test analysis.